Hello there, this is Instructor Paul, and in this lecture, we're going to discuss PowerShell for each loops. So what I'm going to do is open the PowerShell ISE, and we're going to go ahead and start by discussing what a for each loop is. Now, this is a loop that is specifically made to iterate over elements stored inside of an array. So we take our array, uh, we can do, for example, vehicles. If you remember, we can declare that like vehicles and then each element followed by a comma. So if we wanted to have, uh, let's say three or four elements, we could do it just like this. So we could call the first element cars, the second element motorcycles, and the third S uh, trucks, and then SUVs, just like this. If we run this script, we can output vehicles and we get the entire array contents. Now, if we wanted to iterate that through a for loop, we would say for i equals zero, while i is less than vehicles.count. So that would be the entire length or however many elements are inside of that array, uh, increase i. And then we could access the uh, vehicles inside of that array. So if we just wanted to do, um, you know, each element in itself, we could just run this script. It's gonna basically do the same output here. We could further modify that if we wanted to or, or manipulate that by saying echo element i equals and then hit a plus. And so we combine all of these inside of a parentheses and we can output uh, contents just like this. So if I run this script, element zero is cars, one is motorcycles, two is trucks, and three is SUVs. This is the way that we would have done this before. Now, inside of a for loop, or a for each loop, rather, we can do things like this. If we specify an array and we say array is equal to at element, element one, and element two, we're just establishing a normal array just like we've done before. We're, we're giving it two elements, element one and element two. And to run a for each loop, all we need to do is say for each, and we're gonna say element in array. And now we can iterate over each element inside of that array. So what we're specifying here for each element, we can call this variable anything we want. Let me demonstrate this for you really fast, or we'll just output element. So if we run this script, let me clear the screen really quick. If we just execute the script, we get element one and element two. What we're doing here is we're assigning a variable here, element. And this element represents whatever the element we're actually iterating over currently that's inside of the array. We could really call this anything we wanted to. We could call it i if we'd like. We just gotta change it inside of the script. If we run this, we'll get the exact same output. So uh, if we're trying to make something like a new user account, we could do dollar sign people. We could create an array that contains a list of people. And we could say, you know, Paul Hill, Jason, uh, Tolber, I'm just making up names here. We could do Charlie, Perkins, Melanie, Garth. Okay, so if we make this people's array, we can iterate through this array by running for each, and we could just come up with some kind of variable name. We could do I for X, but I would like to do person. For each person in the array people, because really what these elements represent is an individual person, right? So that's why I would, I would call that person. It's important for you to know you can do any variable you want when you're making a for each. So for each person in people, we're gonna do the following task. We could say, just for now, just for fun, we'd say echo creating new user account or new active, new active directory user account for, and then we could say person. And if we run this script, clear your screen, hit play. It says creating new Active Directory user account for Paul Hill, Jason Tober, Charlie Erkins, and Melanie Garth. So this is an example. We could actually either write in directly a, a new uh, command here, like new dash ad user, which I haven't imported the Active Directory module, but you can actually create Active Directory accounts by using arrays and for each loops. So that is an example of what a for each loop is, and this is how you could use it. Of course, we're just echoing output. We're not actually creating anything, but just as an example, this is how you would do it. So great job getting through this lecture. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.